Hey guys, hello again to my Mighty Titans. I'm glad that you can be here today for another video. So for today's video, as you can see, it is a beautiful, wonderful Saturday morning. Well, close to afternoon now. So a wonderful, beautiful, sunny Saturday afternoon. I'm currently sitting in my truck here at the wash rack. So I was just sitting I was just sitting in the wash rack and I decided, you know, I wanted to go ahead and do this idea for a video. So to my Scorpio watchers, I am trying I am coming up with some more content that I can, you know, talk about referring to us and talking about the Scorpios. I got another one coming after a while, but I am gonna let y'all know, no, I'm not a professional astrologer. I never studied astrology. I, I do have an interest in it though, but I'm not a professional astrologer, so I go based off of the facts that I know. No, I don't know everything about the planets. I don't know everything about planet placements. I do know that Scorpios is ruled by Pluto and Mars. That's all I know. I don't know. I don't know everything like everyone else do. So I am going to come up with some more content after a while little bit of a block right now but y'all get something but today's video I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about people's identity like anybody can have like a specific identity either from your reputation in the streets or your reputation in the church or reputation at your job or any type of other identity that you have you know like how your name is and you know how your name is when you go other places you know who all knows you who all don't know you and this and that well I just wanted to tell y'all even though man and woman can give you an identity based on just how you look and sometimes how you act but it's one one true man that gives you the best identity and that's God so what I'm saying is even though people out in the streets can give you an identity they can make up an identity for you but having a new identity by God is one of the best things. Because God can give you a new identity. God can give you a new name. So say like your identity was the alcoholic, the crackhead, the drug dealer, the the hoe in the streets, the slut, uh, the, the homosexual, you know, the, the bisexual, the, you know, the, the fighter, the gangster, you know, the, 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 cl the, the club, the dancer in the club, the stripper, this and that. Those, you know, those are all names that man can give you based on your reputation, based on what kind of life your parents had, you know, based on how you carry yourself out here. But once you start going to church and you give your life to God, God can give you a new identity. So instead of saying, hey, there, I'm going to use me for an example, saying, hey, there is there's Taquan the alcoholic, or there's Taquan the hoe, or Taquan the homosexual, this and that. I'm just using myself for example. So, or, or like what they call me on my job. Some people on my job call me the cocaine bear. I call myself the bear. 
because I'm strong on my job. But some call me the cocaine bear. And I guess I kind of don't like being called that because I don't I don't do drugs. I don't do cocaine. I know they got it based off of that movie Cocaine Bear that came out this year. I still didn't get to see that yet. Hopefully I might. I don't know. I kind of do want to see it, but then I kind of don't. I don't know. I'm complicated. So, even though I gave myself the identity of the bear, but I don't like that cocaine bear name because I don't do drugs. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't like being called what they are. Some don't mind being called what they are. Like a hoe, because I know I used to be one. You know, being an alcoholic, I never did that. Being a drug addict or the crackhead or the stripper or the fighter or the lame one or the the wild card or the responsible one or the the homosexual, the bisexual. And I'ma make a video about I'ma make another video about that. I might, I don't know. It is kind of a touchy subject, but I might make a video about that too. But being called a brother or sister in the Lord, that's the best identity. I love when people call me, hey, there's Brother Top One. You know, hey, praise him deep. You know, you know. <laughs> I, I, love, I love being identified as God's child, as one of God's people. Because the Lord always got ways of taking care of his people. And the Lord can take care and provide for his people. So, sometimes don't always go by what you was called in the past or what your parents used to be. And, here, and here's another thing. Just because your parents had a rep back in the day, that does not mean that that's how you have to be. That doesn't mean that your parents' name and reputation is who you are all because of what they did. What they did in their past ain't got nothing to do with you. So say like with my mom and dad. With my mom and dad, my mom, my mom, she's in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, you know, God rest her soul. She was a gangster out here. My dad. He gangster too. Shoot. <laughs> and my dad's a famous DJ. Now I know one thing. I'm not as gangster as my parents were when they was out there in the world. I may not have that name or that reputation what they had. But that doesn't mean that I have to be what they were when they was out there. I can have my own, you know, I can have my own name, my own reputation. You know, start something for me. Not going by what my parents did or what my grandma did or what my brother and sister did or what my uncles did, what my aunts did, what my friends, my cousins, my nieces, my nephews, what they did. Hey, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That is y'all lives. That is not mine. I got my own life. So, what I'm saying is God can give you a new identity. God got ways of preparing the way for his people. Especially in these last evil times now. So, being identified. I had to shut my door because that truck trying to pull in. So, being identified as God's, as God's child. That's one of the best things that you can have. And... It's okay, I guess, to be identified as something out there that's more positive. But being identified as something that you're not anymore, but what you used to be, it's a saying that I hear all the time. Don't look at me for what I used to be. 
but look at how I am now. Look at how my life done evolved now. Look at how much I done changed now. Look at how much my identity has changed now. And my identity has changed from a lot of things. It was a lot of things that I used to be. Well, it was some things I used to be. I wasn't everything. But that was all I wanted to say for this video. I hope that I wasn't rambling on too much or repeating the same thing over and over. I know sometimes I got, I got the tendency of doing that. I hate that about myself. Yeah. So, I'm going to end it right here. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment stating how y'all feel about this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click that post notification bell so that way y'all won't miss any more content that I have that is on the way. Baby! So I'm about to go ahead and go. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright? Peace.